trying to attack it. Tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. A dip in the hooch in her. Ah! Oh, God. oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Some Florida moron. What is this, we show you? Well, I'm afraid that's apparently quite a difficult question, but my solution is easy. I'm gonna talk for a long time about a subject not in any way related, and pretty soon people will forget all about it. I'll remind people that I have a great haircut, and that under my stewardship, Vice City has had, on average, 15% better weather than before. Well, the crime rates only go up if you don't turn the graph upside down. Turn it upside down, and they have have, have, under me, Alex Shrub. Vote Shrub for president, and you'll have a friendly face in the White House, a man you can trust, a local man who likes golf and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call it democracy, and that's where the money goes. Now, just a Yo, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not. Then this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. believe this is happening not guilty understand good ah! family that's why we need a river people i'm telling you pick up your spades go into your garden start digging as deep and as far as you can pretty soon the whole state will be flooded and ruined and then they'll have to leave we must build a moat to the north or they will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek. Were you? Of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but I've been here for five years, which is a very long time. Yes, it is. A very long time. Almost as long as this show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez presiding over some of the least informed debate on the radio. In this episode of Pressing the Issue, we had Alex Shrub, Callum Crayshaw, and John Florida Hickory discussing safety. I guess you've all got to make up your minds. 
Should we be as wet as fish or a corrupt money-grabbing thief? is a dirty word. I got no suntan. Well, you ain't got my money either, so I'm wondering to myself. What are you doing? So oh, tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Yo, why are you all up on me? Certainly fat Daglo laces? Something's missing? Complete the look. Complete the look with a replica card on insignia on a chunky gold plate chain at Vice City's one-stop shop for people who know how to put the hip into hip hop. Wow, you look fresh. Complete the look. Wild Style presents Mr. Magic World Premier. 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 More Mr. Magic? Well, you've got him. Matter of fact, get on it, dog. Sure. Like, oh, always yeah. remember to be yourself.
Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. Oh, you, me. you were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I, told I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor. Okay, Tremendo puro. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. 